the middle of stitching out an embroidery design on the Bernina 790 and people ask me, do I need to have my foot control plugged in for embroidery? And I have an answer uh, that you might want to keep it close by. If it's plugged in, there are some benefits for this. So normally you run the machine just by touching the green blinking button. So if you touch it, it will start to stitch and off it goes. But while it's stitching, if you need to stop the machine, your foot control, when pressed, with, so this could even be sitting on your table where you could actually use it with your hand. You could leave it on the floor where you might tap it with your foot. That actually stopped the machine from running. The other thing you could do is, and I've often done this when I'm doing some type of project in the hoop. When you're doing projects in the hoop, sometimes there's layers and then more layers and then a zipper and then more zipper. And so sometimes when you're kind of getting close to an area where you you might be stepping on top of another layer that should that you don't want the foot to kind of catch or pull. You can actually use your foot control. So I'm going to squeeze with my hand to show you that if I just squeeze a little bit, it's going really slow and then I can stop and then maybe kind of finesse an area back where it needs to be, stitch a few stitches, make sure I'm not going to catch something accidentally on my foot, and then just be able to kind of creep over that area. So it's a nice way to control some stitches when you got a lot going on in the hoop and you don't want to just let it start off and run away. Now you could also slow the machine down, but then again, you're having to push that button when you want it to stop, push it again when you want it to start, where your foot control could easily be that little go and stop at just a quick little couple steps at a time can help you greatly when you have a lot going on in your hoop.